everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 uh, gallery wrap canvas. I've put a layer of white paint around the edges, corners, and sides. I'm going to do a cloud pour today, and um, I am going to use a few metallics also. So let's go over my paints. My white paint is the um, American Dick decor satin enamel it's half of that and then half of the artist loft flow acrylic white and mix half of that mix both of those together and then i added floetrol and gac 800 my next paint is folk art metallic solid bronze and I put in a few shakes of the Jewelescent Coffee Brown with that. My next paint is the Deco Art Metallics Crystal Green. My next paint is Amsterdam Turquoise Green. My next paint is a combination of Amsterdam Venetian Rose and Blick Metallic Magenta. I just wanted to soften up the magenta a little bit and I will show you this color and also I will show you the consistency. It leaves a little mound. Paint is on a little bit on the thicker side today. Little mound before it disappears. The next paint is Elzarin Crimson Hue by Liquitex Basics. My last paint is a new paint I got from Amsterdam, and it is the Phalo Blue. It's a very pretty color. It's dark. Okay. And I am going to do a ring pour, but I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to put my paint in three cups and do the ring pour in three separate stages. I think I'll add a little bit of water to this rose color here. The water I add is a combination of 90% water and 10% Floetrol mixed together. Okay, so let's get started. I just thought I'd, instead of layering it all in one, one big cup, I thought I would just try it in three cups and keep adding to the, the layering process and the ring pour process. to see how that turns out. Add some white now. I haven't been really, really successful so far with the cloud pour, but I'm hoping today I will be. Give it another try. Okay, the copper. I'm sorry I said copper. It is a bronze. It's bronze I'm using today. So I'll make that correction. The turquoise. I 
I did not add any silicone to my paints today. Um, let's try this phthalo blue. All of my colored paints, except for the metallics, were mixed one part paint to two parts of the Floetrol. And I added a squirt of GAC to them all. The two metallics I'm using today were one and a half part paint to one part Floetrol. They were a little bit thinner paints. Put in the crimson. I'll move my paints out of the way in a moment so you can see a little bit better when I do start to do the ring pour. And now I'll put in the metallic crystal green. Use that all up. And I think I will end with this, the phthalo blue. We'll just have to see how it goes if I really need the third cup. I have a lot of paint here. Here we go. Hopefully you can see that okay. We'll go one way and then turn it around and go the other way. So hopefully distribute all these colors evenly. Now I'll start with the next cup.
and I think I will use the last cup even though I will have quite a bit of paint here try and move this back into the center a little bit okay I just thought it would be interesting to see what kind of result we get with pouring with three cups instead of just the one cup. See if I can get a nice ending here. Okay. I think I will move it around on the canvas a little bit before I torch it and I may want to add a little bit more white paint out here on the edges Okay, let's start the tipping. This is a nice size canvas to work with. It's, uh, it's a nice, just it's not too big. You can handle it pretty well. See if I can get that corner. Try and keep the green on there. Okay, set it down and take a look a minute. Well, this does look like more of a successful uh, cloudy pour. You can see in here, getting some that cloudy effect. Not sure if any of the bronze is going to come through at this point. I don't. At right now, I don't really see it. Well, a little bit. Yes, I do. I take that back. And I really don't like the white down there. So I'm going to pull that off right away. There we go. Bring it back. One more corner here. Just going to set it down here and look at it a minute. Look at my corners and my edges. Want 
take a look at this composition here. See if I want to change anything up. Maybe I'll try and get a little bit more into the center again. Okay, take another look at it. Yes, that bronze did come up. See the streaks of bronze in here? Some of the green, not a lot of the green, but streaks in here and down here especially. And I'm going to torch, see what we bring up. Lot, a lot of little things coming up here. Okay, I'm going to clean off the edges. like how it turned out it's so nice and soft soft palette soft colors just about every color came through Be happy with it. Okay, I'm going to get you down for a close up. Up here we have the upper left hand corner and you can see the green metallic there see the rose color there with the magenta it's very pretty there are some cells coming up not too many I didn't expect any was just really looking for that cloud pour and this looks like this little area here I'll have to fix up when we're all done so very light and pretty there's the center and here's where this metallic green came out the most right here in the upper right hand corner and here's that bronze. And I do hope that this all dries as 
nice and pretty as it is right now. And here's the lower right hand corner. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video or like, share, subscribe if you haven't yet, and ring the bell so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye.